On November 19th, I will have been on this app, TikTok, for three years. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine that I would be here three years later. And I had no idea all the positivity I would gain from being on this app. I've met a lot of friends. I've got a lot of people I interact with, people of a like mind. I was able to start a podcast, and now those people can come on the show and we can speak directly. It's incredibly positive. It gives an old man purpose, and I appreciate that immensely. One of the things that I am so honored by is on that rare occasion when I'm out in the wild and somebody comes up to me and says, hey, aren't you that rational boomer guy? And I meet somebody who watches me on a regular basis. That is absolutely humbling. I am so psyched up about that. I know some people think, well, I see him all the day. That's exciting. I see him. You are nowhere near as excited as I am. And I appreciate it immensely. I get a lot of DMs too, but I'll be perfectly honest with you. Most of those DMs are coming from scantily clad 20-year-old women who seemingly desperate to know me, or I get invitations to the uh, Illuminati. So I pretty much ignore the DMs a lot of times. I'm trying to be more on top of it. But recently, a couple of weeks ago, I got a DM from a woman who is one of my peers here on TikTok. And she said, hey, listen, I want to offer you some tickets to my son's show, which is going to be at the local casino in Minnesota when we're there. I'm a fan of yours, and I would love for you to come. And then she went on to say that her son was Tyler Henry, the Hollywood medium, the psychic that's on TV that's so popular and so famous. And when I saw that, I thought, well, this is interesting. I like this kid. I like the show. My wife is probably his biggest fan, so this would be great. Yeah, I'll take the tickets. But then I thought to myself, I got, you know, there's a lot of weird fucking people out here that will do shit. So I said, you know, is there some way you could prove to me you are who you are? I hate to be ungrateful, but if your son's Tyler Henry, you know what I'm talking about. And she said, sure. And we FaceTime and damned if it wasn't Tyler Henry's mom. Well, I was pretty excited about it. My wife was really excited about it because she's a huge fan. So I accepted the tickets. And last night, my wife and I went to the show. Wonderful show. Great show. It was a lot of fun. And then afterwards, we had the opportunity to meet uh, Tyler Henry's mother and uh, Tyler Henry's assistant, uh, Heather. And it was a wonderful experience. My wife was over the moon. And we had a great time. And none of that would have occurred had I not been on TikTok. So as much as I want to thank those folks, uh, Tyler Henry, his mom, Heather, and everybody that was involved there, thank you so much for the opportunity you gave us. It's much appreciated. But I also want to thank all of you out here. Without this platform, I wouldn't be able to do a lot of things I do. And the only way I have this platform is by you folks following and staying in touch and listening and doing the things you do. You've given me some great opportunities in this whole process, and I will be forever grateful. Now, I want to say something. There will be people out there that say, I don't believe in psychics. The Bible says this. The Bible says this. All I have to say to you is, you do you, I'll do me. And then I'll bring up a phrase from the 70s. Do not come on this page and harsh my buzz. Fuck you. Everybody has things that they're interested in or not interested in, things they believe. And you do you and I'll do me. Whether, whether you believe in, in psychics or not doesn't matter. I appreciate the fact that uh, Tyler Henry's mom watches me, likes what I do, and had this had the uh, idea to reach out to me like that. That is an honor, and I appreciate it immensely. So these three years have been very interesting. A lot of things have happened. And when you hear somebody talk like this, you're probably thinking, oh, fuck, he's going to retire. No, bitch. We got a year to run these motherfuckers down. We've got Trump LaFucks on the run. They are losing. Next year... We got to bury them. So I'm coming here every day talking shit like I always do. I appreciate Tyler Henry, his mom, Heather, all of you. But let's keep this shit going.